Hello guys, I'm Ace Channel Josh, and welcome back to another SBL video. I'm going to be bringing you my Week 2 Season 3 SBL match versus Dom and the Golden State War Turtles. So, hopefully nobody comes in and crashes the recording, because my parents have already walked in on me twice, because it's like 6 o'clock in the evening and they're in the living room, so, you know. Let's hope that nothing bad happens. Anyways, let me go over his team really quick. He brought three stall mons, three offensive mons with Mega Lop, Raikou, and Miss Magus, so that's terrible. I'm hoping I can break through his disgusting wall core of Cresselia, Blissey, and Vaporeon, because on paper, they are, they are unbreakable. Because two clerics and a fat wall, I mean, I mean, what can I do about that? Anyways, my team, um, I have a team builder, but I will go over them briefly, not too in deep, not too in depth, excuse me, I, I lost my word in there. But um, yeah, I'll go in brief description of them, because I have a team builder, you can watch that if you want. Um, especially defensive camera up for Raikou, just in case it's combine. I have Roar as well. Pursuit Trapping Gun Tank because he has three, he has three psychic types. I mean, no, he has two psychic types and one ghost. So there you go. He has my Mesprit for his Mega Lot because I don't have much of a wall otherwise. Um, Raviary to set up on his Blissey potentially. Well, potentially all his walls if he doesn't have any ice cover. If, if he doesn't have any ice moves, basically. Um, Sylveon for his walls as well, because none of his walls can really touch me, especially since none of them get taunt, so that's a good thing. And special defensive Amoongus to deal with special defensive all poke Pokemon, such as Raikou. And um, they can also take hits from the Megalopony and put it to sleep, so that's a good thing. Anyways, let's get on to the video. I'm going to lead off with my Mesprit and get up my rocks. I don't care what he leads with, unless it's like this Magus, which I can trap later on. Anyways. He goes with his Megalopony. I know he's going to go for Fake Out because he wants that Mega off immediately. Because I could potentially kill a Psychic if he didn't Mega. So, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rock now because he is definitely afraid of a Stab Psychic. So, I'm going to go straight for the Stealth Rock. And he goes into his Miss Magus. So, I'm like, perfect. I have a perfect wall. I have a perfect answer to this thing. It's a wall and a, and a huge offensive threat. And it's not a Skun Tank. Skun Tank, the utility Pokemon coming in through. Taking only, um, what was that, 26%. Um... And, um, anyways, I go for Pursuit on the switch in, on the switch, and I kill him. Man, I'm losing my words right now, I'm sorry. So, yeah, my Skunk Tank gets one kill. He gets the first kill of the season for him, and that's great, because Skunk Tank is cool. I want him to get so many kills, because, you know, Skunk Tank is cool. It's an NU pick. NU picks don't normally get a lot of kills, so I'm happy. Anyways, he has a Megalopony on the field, so I'm going to go into my dedicated switch in on his mess right so my plan here is, okay, he will never stay in a Mesprit unless he's really confident that I don't have a Psychic move. So he's going to go for the return. He's, he sees that it's not a, it's a 3 KO on my Mesprit right now, so he's going to switch. I'm going to go for the U-turn. U-turn is the best play possible. So I'm going to go for U-turn, and it does 12%, which is cool, because he basically takes two stuff rock switches. So I'm like, that's cool, that's great. I'm going to, I'm going to go into my Braviary, because he cannot do it in the Braviary. I have enough HP to where I eat one Seismic Toss, and I still have a sub-up. He's going to go into his Cresselia, so I figured, okay, he probably has the Ice Beam. But I'm going to scout for it. I'm, going to, I'm just going to go straight for the Brave Bird. I can count the damage from this Brave Bird about what kind of spread he is. He goes for the Psychic, which is weird because I kind of figured he had the Ice Beam on the seat because, he's, because he hard switched into it. So I'm like, okay, maybe he doesn't have Psychic. So if that's the case, I can... Beat this thing 1v1 with the bulk up Brave Bird because after a while Brave Bird will start to, to a KO in. And as long as I have a sub up, I will always beat it. And depending on. And even. And as long as I have a sub up with, after some bulk ups, I can. The Raikou can go for a Volt Switch or Thunderbolt. Volt Switch would be better because I would get a kill after that. And I can still hit something really hard with Brave Bird, including his Raikou. So that's my logic here. I'm going to go for the sub again. But he's actually going to surprise me here, and he's going to go straight for the Ice Beam this time. So, so far I see two of his moves, Psychic, Ice Beam. I didn't, I, have, I had no idea why he would click Psychic the first time. Thinking maybe he would break my sub, because, you know, stab and all that. But anyways, he's going to go for Ice Beam again, so I'm like, okay. I want to have some good damage on my Braviary, so I'm going to go for Roost. So I'm like, okay, I can't stay in here. I'm going to go into my Skun Tank now, because Skun Tank can eat any hit from this thing. He, he, doesn't have the, he does not have the hidden power of Gravel, from what I can tell. So... Now I go into my Skun Tank, I'm like, okay, I don't see any recovery on this thing. He goes for Thunder Wave, Ice Beam, and Psychic, so his last move has to be Moonlight. 
because you don't run on a Cresselia without recovery. That's just not a good set. So anyways, I'm going to go into my Scun Tank as I go for the Crunch here. I didn't go for the Pursuit because I figured you would predict that. But I do get paralyzed, so I'm like, ah, rip. So I'm going to go into my Mogus now, predicting the Scald, because what other move would he possibly click besides maybe Wish? And even if he did click Wish, I could possibly put something to sleep. Anyways, he goes for Scald and gets the freaking burn, so I'm like, okay, this, this isn't a problem. I'm going to potentially put something to sleep right now. And he's going to go right into his Cresselia, so I'm thinking, okay, I get, to put this to, I get to put this thing to sleep. But guess what? It's safety goggles. I thought it was Cobra Berry, because that seemed like a pretty good set to wall my Scun Tank. But, you know, it's okay. That was a pretty good pretty good prep on his part. I can respect that. But I'm going to go into my Scun Tank now, because I, I know it was full set, and he could not touch me, especially after I taunt it. Anyways, he's going to go for the Ice Beam as I go for the Crunch. I want to see how much damage it would do, but I get paralyzed, so I'm like, okay. Now that he sees that Ice Beam is literally doing zero damage, he's going to switch. switch. So I'm going to go for the Pursuit. As long as, as I don't get paralyzed, I'm going to freaking hit this thing on the switch. He does switch, and I go for the Pursuit, and I do 34%, which doesn't seem like a lot, but after Stealth Rock, that's pretty much half his health loss, because he'll be at 52%. So he's going to go into his Vaporeon, so I'm like, okay, I can't stay in. I'm going to go into my Sylveon, just in case I do, if I do get burned, I can heal Bell. So I'm going to go into my Sylveon, and he's going to go for the Skull. So, he's not going to burn me, which is great, because I can now go for the for the heal bell now, but since I outslow him, because he got leftovers first, I'm going to be able to get a slow heal bell off, so if even if he does burn me, I will be able to get rid of it immediately. So, he goes for the skull, and he gets the burn, and he, I'm sure he's thinking, wow, praise me, but I'm like, I go for the heal bell, I'm like, praise me, I predict that burn, 100%, anyways. I'm going to go for the Wish now because I see Skull isn't doing anything, and if he does burn me, I can go for the Heal Bell afterwards. But now I see Skull isn't doing anything, so I'm like, okay, now's the time to start clicking Calm Mind. His Ghost type is gone. Well, actually, well, never mind. I lied. I, I thought Sunshine was weak to Ghost for a second. I'm bad at this game. Anyways, I go for Calm Mind, and Skull is not doing anything now. It's doing 16%, no burn, as I go for another Calm Mind. So I'm like, okay, this is good. Because I have 2 KO now with Hyper Voice, for sure. And worst case scenario, he burns me on the first Hyper Voice, I go for Heal Bell afterwards. And then Wish, and then I'll be back to full, and I click Hyper Voice again. Anyways, I go, he goes for Skull, doesn't burn me. As I click the Hyper Voice, and I get a freaking crit, so I'm like, oh yes. So if you're pulling through, getting the crit right off the bat on this wall. So that's one of his two walls down. So I'm like, okay, that's great, because now my, my camera up has more free will, even though he does have a Cresselia, which eats... Um, which can definitely eat a fire blast and is immune to earth power. So I'm like, okay, that's okay. I have Toxic on my camera up too, so I can still beat the Crystallia with camera ups. And uh, now he's going to go into his, his Blissey, so I'm like, okay, I know this thing cannot beat me 1v1. Unless he has, like, if he has Toxic and I run out of heal bells, then maybe he can. I'm going to go for the Wish now as he goes for the Stealth Rock, late game rocks, I have no idea why, maybe for the Braviary I guess, but still, doesn't make any sense to me. I go for the Combine again as he reveals the Young T-Wave here, so I'm like, okay, this match is going to get a lot harder than it should have been now, because apparently he has Thunder, Waves on, Thunder Wave on literally all of his walls, so I'm like, oh, that's, that's kind of annoying. I'm just kidding, he probably didn't have Thunder Wave on his, on his deploy, and that, that wouldn't make any sense, so, anyways... I see he has Thunder Wave, so I'm like, okay, I can potentially still win as long as as long as long I don't get paralyzed at all, really. So, I'm going to go for the Calm Mind now, because Seismic Toss is not doing anything. And to the point where I could wish easily, but here's my logic. I outspeed the Blizzard right now, so I'm like, okay, here's my best chance of not losing to this thing by getting paralyzed all the time. I heal bow on the turn, he attacks me with either Seismic Toss or goes for Soft Bolt after I hit it. And as long as I can set up enough Calm Mind so where I can 2 it KO with Piper Voice, which is actually at around plus 4, but I want to be up at plus 6 so I can do a lot of damage to his Cresselia afterwards. Even though I, I probably could have stopped right now, but you know, I wanted to be at plus 6. Plus 6 was the number for me. Because this thing was built to go to plus 6 on this team, so I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm going to plus 6 on this team. So, oh, I'm going to go for another Calm Mind as he goes for the Thunder Wave again, which is definitely his best play. At this point, because Thunder Wave is Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is one of the best moves in the game for a reason. So, he is now going to... I'm going to go up to 87% as he goes for the Seismic Toss again as I go for the Heal Bell. 
I'm starting to run out of heal bells really fast because, you know, there's only eight heal bells in the game with a PV max. So I'm like, okay, let's go for Wish because after a seismic test, I will still be able to go up to full. He goes for heal, uh, he goes for Thunder Wave again. He goes for the seismic test as I go for the heal, uh, no, I go for Combine one more time so I can be the plus six. I am now plus six and I now two hit KO Blissey even though I two hit KO'd it at plus four. But, you know, good measure. I go for the heal bell, and now I'm faster, and I will be able to get a huge hit off on this Blissey with Hyper Voice. And I get 62% off, which is pretty good. Pretty good damage right there. He goes for the Thunder Wave, and I'm like, okay. He's going for the Soft Boiled, so I'm going to go for the heal bell on the Soft Boiled. And as long as I don't get paralyzed, I'm good. I get paralyzed, I'm like, okay, that's okay. I can go for Wish next turn, or I can go for Hyper Voice right now. It doesn't really matter. If I go for, if I go for Hyper Voice... I could easily force him to go, force him to go for soft boiled, and uh, and I go for wish. But here I go for heal bell because heal bell is a good play. I go for the wish just in case he clicks seismic toss. I'd be at a good amount of debt of health. And right now it's just a one v one war with Blizzy and Sylveon, like I pretty much pictured would happen. I get a huge roll there, and I do sixty nine percent, so that's great. Now I know he will click soft boiled, so I'm gonna go for the heal bell here because that's my best play possible. And uh, with a crit, I would kill, so I'm like, okay, come on, maybe Sylveon has a crit inside him. He's already gotten one so far, so I don't get the crit. He goes for Thunder Wave, so I'm like, okay, you know what? I can, as long as I don't, as long as I don't get paralyzed once, I do beat him because of the amount of damage Hyper Voice is doing. I don't get paralyzed, he's down to 17%, up to 24. So I'm like, okay, after another Hyper Voice, he'll be down to really, really low. I go for it, he's down to 11%. I'm like, okay, he's getting lower and lower. Sylveon, you're not getting paralyzed. Come on, you can do it, buddy. I go for the Hyper Force, and I get a huge roll here, and I kill him at, um, at 68%. Of course, the highest roll I got was 69%, but looking at that, that was pretty much the highest roll I could have gotten. So now he's going to go into his Lopini, and I am plus 6, and I am fully defensive. So right now, he does not have anything to kill me, and as long as I don't get paralyzed I or crit, I will be good. Famous last words. We'll see. He goes for the fake out, does 14%. I'm like, ah, that's nice. Let's see how much a freaking return does. Return will do 41%, which is a good amount of damage, but not good enough, as he will die to this hyper voice. And that is Sylveon's third kill of the match, so I'm like, oh, of the match. So I'm like, okay, come on. You have two more Pokemon to go. You have a fat pink duck and a Raikou that can probably not touch you right now because you're plus six. He actually is going to go into his Raikou, interestingly enough, as I go up to 63%. No, I don't. But he's going to get the crit thunderbolt and it does 49%. So I'm like, no, I don't have protect, so I can't, I can't protect on this thunderbolt. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to die to a thunderbolt because Raikou is pretty strong. It's stab. And Sylveon is at 13%. So I'm like, come on, Sylveon. Maybe you have it in YouTube where I can actually live a thunderbolt. It doesn't even close. It doesn't even come close. It does 8%. And I go for Hyper Force and I annihilate his Raikou. I'm like, oh my god, have Sylveon. It's fourth kill of the match. And it's la his last Pokemon is a Pokemon that even with a crit Ice Beam or a crit Psychic cannot kill me. And he cannot freeze me at this point because I'm paralyzed. Paralysis is coming through right now. I go for the Hyper Voice and I get a freaking crit and I one shot it. I didn't calc. I was just so in the mood. I was like, oh my god. If I kill this thing, I get the 6-0 against apparently one of the best battlers in the entire SBO. I get the crit Hyper Voice on the last turn of the match. So, Sylveon killing two of his three... Rolls of a crit and Blizzy being a high roll hyper voice, which was great because I didn't have to risk paralysis on the next turn. And after that many turns of non paralysis, I was probably asking for it. So, GG, GG to Dom. Like, I kind of I apologize to him for being such a savage this game. Like, I didn't want to 6 0 him, I wanted it to be a better match for you know the, the league's case because I wanted to. Have a match to remember, but you know when you run stall, what do you expect? You're either gonna win easily, or you're gonna get bopped by a set of Pokemon. And a set of Pokemon it was, and it was especially offensive Pokemon, ironically, because he has a Blissey with 255 HP and a what like 100 special defense. So that was great. That was great. That was a great match. I absolutely um, loved Sylveon getting five kills in that match, as well as Skunting. Getting its one kill against Miss Magius, so that was good credit to my Skuntank. So after this week, I'm pretty sure my Sylveon is number one in kills. And now that I'm number one in kills, that's cool because I don't think I've ever had a poke. I should know I had in the ISCL season one. My Mega Pinsir was number one at some point, but you know, 
This is the first time ever in this league that I've ever had a Pokemon anywhere close to number one, let alone number one. So, yeah, props to my Sylveon. I'm, I, I can definitely respect that. I have my closest Pokemon right now is two kills with the Mega Camera, so I can res I'll, I'll take those apples. So I am now two zero with a plus nine differential because I think I won three zero. Yeah, I had a Manaphy, a Moonglitz, and Sylveon against Silver. So yeah, plus nine differential, two zero. That is fantastic, fantastic, man. I am so happy about that. And not to mention how this layout looks great. Um, I hope this looks good on YouTube, and I hope I spoke. Well enough to where you guys can actually understand me, because, God, man, I've been trying to speak Spanish all day, and, and as a result, I'm stuttering my words, and I have saliva in my mouth, so I'm sure I'm spraying it pretty often, too, so that's disgusting, and unenjoyable for me and you guys. But yeah, we're 2 or no, and uh, right now, we have a pretty high reputation to hold on week 3 against Sam, and he has a Mega Menachem, and I'm scared. And uh, I actually don't have my phone with me right now, so I actually can't check what his team is. And that's kind of annoying, but you know, it's okay. We'll check later on. But yeah, that was week two. Definitely pretty anticlimactic. It was a Sylveon sweep pretty much with a skunk tank getting a kill pursuit. So, what more to say? I'm GG, GG to Dom again. I hope he bounces back. He did get a week one win against Fook. What well, is it? Fuck, I don't know. I like saying fuck better because it sounds sounds funny. Anyways, um, and uh, so he, he did win against fuck and he did lose to me 6-0. So I hope he bounces back week three. That'd be great for him. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I'm going to be heading out of here. So I'll be seeing you in my week three team builder. My week three team builder or my ISL team builder, whichever one comes first. Probably ISL because I like to go in order. Not to mention how I also joined a 3DS league. Yes, I know a third league sounds like a lot, but you know, I want to try to balance it. I've been in three leagues before, and I couldn't pass out on a 3DS league. 3DS leagues are pretty legit, and I have a power save, so you know, I can actually build my Pokemon, kind of. Besides, you know, Gen 4 moves, that's kind of annoying, but you know, I can still work with it. So yeah, that's all for me. It's 17 minutes, and the battle ended like two minutes ago, so I'll be leaving. Au revoir, and peace.